Hey guys, it's not Wednesday and I'm telling you that now because it's actually Tuesday and you'll know that because I am participating in not wearing shoes for the day, which is happening right now, today, on Tuesday. So if you guys participated in this event of raising awareness, just tell me, I don't know, because I wasn't going to, but then I didn't work today, so I was like, heck yes, I'm going to do it, so... Yeah, and I actually have places I have to go today, so that should be interesting. Fun fact for the day, I wore this shirt to audition for this collab channel way back when it was just... Now it's just me and Michael are the originals. Oh yeah! Ha ha ha! And my nose is kind of dry. Here's a little, uh, inside piece of me. Um, whenever I'm cutting something, I always, like, imagine myself, like, slicing my, my flesh, my skin my hand or whatever it is I'm holding just in case like if I were to push too hard then it would slice my hand I just think it would be exciting So the second part of this challenge was to show you my favorite childhood book from now. Like, not from my childhood, but something that's a child book that I like now. But unfortunately, those are the same books because I still really like them. Millions of cats! It's actually kind of a really creepy book. Because it's like, this guy keeps finding all these freaking kittens. And he, he just keeps taking them. Like, oh, it's mine now, I found it! Madeline. I just really like this because it, re it reads really cute. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines, in rain or in shine. The smallest one was Madeline. Chicken soup with rice. In July, I'll take a peep into the cool and fishy deep where chicken soup is selling cheap, selling once, selling twice, selling chicken soup with rice. Dr. Seuss and Shel Silverstein, those are my two favorite childish authors, I guess. I uh, love you. I love you.